and welcome to Mia Mayhem is a Superhero. I'm Miss Claiborne and I will be reading chapter 10. And as you know, before we read, we always set the purpose for reading. So our questions from chapter 10. Why was Mia on the verge of tears? Mia reached a junior superhero level for everything except what was actually going on when Mia broke the goalpost and flooded the school hallway. So as I read, be listening so that you will have the answer to the trivia question. Mayhem arrives. How was your first day? Dr. Superb asked as I nervously walked into her office. I looked down at my feet. Was I supposed to tell her how embarrassing and disastrous it was? Did she know that I got stuck on the ropes twice and was even saved by pen powers? In the end, I told her the truth. This place is super cool, but to be honest, I'm not sure I'm cut out for this. I mumbled, trying not to cry. Oh, Mia, every superhero is born with special powers, but becoming a real superhero takes work, she said warmly. Believe it or not, superheroes aren't made overnight. Then she handed me a piece of paper. Congratulations, she exclaimed. You're at the junior level for everything, except flying and foreign languages. You'll be in beginner level classes for those. She gave me a pat on the back as I looked at her in shock. I grabbed the paper and looked closely. How was this possible? I was so sure I'd failed. Is this for real, I asked. Of course it is, Dr. Superb explained. Our exam is completely foolproof. Every training schedule is tailored to each student. Then she reached out from under her desk and handed me my favorite ice cream. I must have looked confused because she asked, what did you think the written exam was for? We just wanted to get to know you better. At that, I couldn't help but laugh. Ice cream always made everything better. Learning to control all your powers will take time, she went on. But trust me, Mia, you'll learn how to embrace any chaos and mayhem that's bound to come with it. I nodded with a big smile across my face. I definitely had a lot to learn, but at least I knew I wasn't alone. Now, I know it's been an extremely long day, but there's one last step to becoming an official Pitts superhero. Dr. Superb said, a student photo. Okay, Mia, are you ready? Give me your best superhero pose, Professor Stupendous exclaimed. Superhero pose, like this or this? After a bunch of different shots, I ran out of ideas. So finally, I just put my hands on my hips. Great, Mia. That's the one. Now hold it, Professor Stupendous said. I smiled big and leaned back, but turns out that wasn't the best idea. Oh, no, I yelled, reaching my hand out. Everything instantly froze just like at Eddie's house. Whoa, I still have no idea how I did that, but thank goodness. I grabbed the light stand and put it back on the floor. So she has quite a dilemma. She's saying, thank goodness, everything froze. Phew, okay, before anything else crazy happens, let's recap. I just had the weirdest, most unbelievable week ever. It was good, it was bad, and full of mayhem. But you know what? I'm starting to believe that a little mayhem is okay. 
Because it turns out all those times I thought I was a total disaster machine, like when I broke the goalpost or flooded the school hallways, I was actually using my superpowers. I just didn't know it. And that's why from now on, you can call me Mia Mayhem. I'm the world's newest superhero. And that concludes our book as well as chapter 10, Mia Mayhem. I hope you enjoyed our reading of this chapter, this story, and we will be reading other books as the year goes on. Thank you. Thank you.